Hi everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a group of blood tests which are performed in almost every laboratory around the world if a doctor is suspecting something wrong with our liver. And these are called liver function tests. So the first liver function which is most important to be going to talk about is bilirubin, which is the level of bilirubin in the blood. So bilirubin is a waste product from our red blood cells. So our blood has got different types of cells and the cells that give our blood the red color are called red blood copper cells. And when they break down, the waste product they produce is bilirubin. That bilirubin goes to the liver and liver disposes of it, making bile and bile goes through the bile ducts into our small intestine. So that is the liver I've drawn. These are the bile ducts coming out and that's the gallbladder. And this is the pancreas. So looking at the type of bilirubin in the blood test, which type of bilirubin is very high. The doctors can tell whether the bilirubin high is because there's too much bilirubin coming into the liver that the liver can't take care of, which means too many red blood cells are breaking down for whatever reason, for infection, for disease, for red blood cells which are not normal like sickle cell disease or spherocytosis or whatever, different conditions not to worry about, we'll talk about them in the future when we're talking about the abnormalities of the blood. So a certain condition will produce too much bilirubin and too much bilirubin will come in. So we're talking about lots and lots of bilirubin coming into the liver and the liver can't take care of it. The liver hasn't got the capacity to get rid of it. It produces bile, but it can only produce so much bile. So the extra bilirubin collects in the blood and makes us yellow. However, in some patients, the bilirubin coming in would be normal. And this is perhaps one of the commoner types of jaundice. So bilirubin coming in is normal, and but the liver has got some disease in it. Either liver has got infection like hepatitis or liver has got tumor or whatever. Uh, liver might be something wrong with the liver, like cirrhosis. And it cannot get rid of the normal amount of bilirubin that's coming into it. And what happens since it can't get rid of it quick enough, the extra bilirubin collects inside the blood and makes our skin yellow and our eyes yellow. Our urine becomes very dark. And again, that is jaundice. The third problem that can happen that normal bilirubin is coming in and liver is working normally, it pumps out bilirubin normally. However, when it pumps it out, there is a blockage. Like in this case, I've drawn a stone, a gallstone, which is blocking the bile duct, and the back pressure does not let the bile come through, keeps building up in the liver, and after the liver, it builds up into the blood because it just can't go through, and our skin, our eyes, and our urine becomes again yellow, and we become jaundiced. I've also drawn another condition like in the pancreas. This is a pancreas and I've drawn a tumor of the pancreas. Might be a benign tumor or a cancerous tumor, which is again blocking the bile duct at the bottom and the bilirubin will build up and build up in the blood. The second blood test that is done is to check proteins in our blood, which are called serum proteins. And also one of the special proteins in our blood called serum albumin. You might remember in my previous video when I was talking about what function does the liver do in our body, one of the main functions the liver does is producing many, many proteins. Now, proteins are very, very important in our body because they fight infection. They build our tissues like muscles, bones, etc. Without the proteins, we'll become very weak, we'll become very wasted, our muscles will waste and we will not be able to fight infection. Albumin is very important because Albumin is a protein which is most abundant in our blood and what it does, it keeps the water in our blood in the blood vessels rather than it seeping out into our tissues. So if albumin was very, very low, which means the liver is not working normally or albumin are being wasted out of the body, like if our kidneys are not working normally and the albumin can go out to the kidneys despite the normal functioning liver, then the albumin will go down and our water from our blood will move into our tissues and we get very puffy legs, puffy eyes, puffy skin. 
So we will have too much water in our body and we become all bloated. Our skin becomes all full of fluid. The next liver function test we are going to talk about is called alanine transaminase or ALT. This is an enzyme which is present inside the liver cells and it helps the liver break down proteins. If the liver cells are diseased and they are dying or they're breaking down, then the alanine transaminase from inside the liver cell. So if this liver cell with alanine transaminase inside it, so let's draw a liver cell. So for example, this is a liver cell and ALT is inside it. And when this cell breaks down, all the ALT from, if the cell is broken, ALT from inside the cells will come out and go into the blood. Normal levels of ALT in the blood are very, very low. But when the liver cells are dying or being damaged, again, like for infection, etc., then the ALT in the blood will be very high. Again, it's an indication that there might be something wrong with the liver. The next liver function test that again checked is aspartate transaminase, AST. Like ALT, it also helps metabolize the proteins or amino acids and it's present inside the liver cells and when the liver cells are getting damaged, the AST will come out. Both high levels of AST and ALT will suggest there is something damaging the liver. So liver cells are dying or getting damaged, like for infection like hepatitis. So these are the two main liver functions that are checked for actual damage of the liver. The next liver function test we are going to talk about is alkaline phosphatase. Again, an enzyme which helps us break down proteins inside the liver cells. However, the maximum amount of alkaline phosphatase is present in the lining of the bile ducts. So where the bile ducts are, there are cells in the lining and the alkaline phosphatase is present in those cells. Alkaline phosphatase is also present in our bones, so if there is something wrong with the bones, then alkaline phosphatase will also go up. However, there is a special type of alkaline phosphatase which only comes from the liver and a special type comes out from the bones and that can be tested again in the laboratory. So the previous two enzymes, ALT and AST, are mostly present in the liver. And when the liver is getting damaged, there is infection in the liver, these come out into the blood and the levels go high. When there is a blockage in the bile duct, like a stone in the bile duct, then the alkaline phosphatase, which is present in the cell lining the bile duct, will come out and the levels will be very high. So when the alkaline phosphatase is very high and the bilirubin is very high, we are jaundiced with a very high alkaline phosphatase, which means there is likely cause of jaundice is blockage to the bile duct, maybe a stone or tumor or whatever. On the other hand, if we are jaundiced, which means we are very yellow and our bilirubin is very high, but the blood tests show a normal alkaline phosphatase, but a very high levels of ALT and AST. The reason for jaundice is most likely liver disease, like hepatitis, which means infection of the liver, rather than blockage of the bile duct, because alkaline phosphatase is normal. The next liver function test is gamma GT or gamma glutamyl transferase. Again, an enzyme present in liver cells. The levels, if they are very high, again mean the liver is being damaged. But most importantly, because of likely cause would be alcohol. So if somebody is drinking too much alcohol, very high gamma GT might indicate that the cause of liver damage is alcohol intake. The next liver function test is prothrombin time. What is prothrombin time? There are few tests done to check the clotting of our blood, how our blood is clotting. As I discussed in my previous video on the functions of the liver, liver is one of the main organs which produces factors which make our blood clot on time. If the liver is damaged and not working normally, our blood will not clot normally and we will bleed for a long time. From a small cut or a small injury will cause more hemorrhage as compared to a normal person. And prothrombin time is one of the tests performed to check the functioning of the liver to see whether it is making the clotting factors which are important to make our blood clot on time. So these were the main liver function tests which we are going to talk about today. 
These tests, when performed together, indicate whether there is something wrong with the liver or there is something blockage blocking the liver or there is too much blood breaking down to make us jaundiced. Now, doctors can have a look at all these liver function tests together and have some idea how to investigate the patient further to see whether liver needs investigating more or there is something blocking the liver which needs investigating more or there is something wrong with the blood which is breaking down too quickly to make too much bilirubin that the liver cannot handle. I hope you did find this video informative and gave you some idea what liver function tests are and how easily they are performed and the result of these blood tests when once the blood is taken takes only 24 48 hours to be ready so very quick turnaround of these blood tests as well if you like this video then please do give us a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe and click the notification sign thank you for watching